Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody I'm just checking in on the energy right? Whatever spirit wants out is going to come out okay? So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind and thank you so much everyone for all of the love and support you guys give me every day thank you. I, I you know honestly I've never gotten like this much kindness before in my life man thank you so much you guys for being my friends and family and peeps out here i really do appreciate you all i hope you know that and um thank you to all of my subscribers and welcome to everybody new here welcome welcome all right so spirit what messages do you have for my beautiful collective today messages for my collective okay Ooh. Someone is feeling like a complete fool. They're looking back on how things were with you, okay? How you saw them, all right? Um, you used to have a lot of respect for this person. You used to look up to them. Other people could have been um, thinking that they were a great person as well. But they they screwed you over somehow here, collective. They did you wrong. They did you dirty. And now this person feels like a fool. You don't see them in the same light that you did before. I, I feel like you've lost respect for this person. Okay? You know? And, this, and they know it. They're looking like a big fool out here. They're learning a lesson. I, I feel like spirit is giving them messages here. This is their karma. They're learning their lesson. I feel like they want you back. This person can't stop thinking about you. They're being very nostalgic here. They're thinking back on how you made them feel, how you loved them unconditionally, how you were so sweet and giving and caring and nurturing to them, how you were innocent and didn't do anything wrong to this person. You just wanted to give them your love. Okay? They're thinking back on how you touched them, the things that you did for them, the things that you said to them in the past, you know? They're thinking back on your sweetness and your caring and how you respected them. This person knows you don't respect them anymore. They do. And it's making them feel very emotional. This could have been someone in the past that really didn't show you much emotion before. They were all up in their ego. Okay? Their ego pretty much ran their whole entire personality. Okay? Um, and I feel like you did do pretty much everything for them or whatever you could you were very um hospitable you if you shared a home with this person you did like all the cooking and the cleaning if you were in a just a relationship with this person um you were you know giving them massages and um probably still making them dinner and doing just really nice things for them Okay, you you wish you were supportive of this person. You um you made them feel like they were well respected. But now I feel like you're pulling your energy away from them because of how they treated you. Yeah, you're moving on. That's what this is. You're pulling your energy away. Now you're in emperor energy and you're saying to yourself, I don't need anybody in the energy that I'm in. I no longer have a whole lot of respect for this person because of how they've treated me, because of their choices that they've made in the past, because this person made some choices to wrong you. And that's why they're getting karma here for that. Okay? They're also kind of like, um, they never thought that you would actually leave them behind. Like, for real, for real. Okay? But you are... You're moving on in emperor energy. Feel like this person may have waited for you to come back around. Like they could have wanted you to chase them. So they kept their back turned in their ego. They're, this is the, all the reasons why they're getting their karma. Okay. They, I feel like this person's very emotional, but they don't let anybody know. Like they hide how they feel. Yeah, and this door is being shut. So, yeah, this person can't come back around now. They can't come back from this because you don't see them in the same light. You don't have respect for them and you don't have trust for them anymore. And without those two things, 
you can't really have a good relationship, right? You got to be able to trust the person and you have to have respect for them. And I feel like you've lost all of that because of the choices that they've made. So you're moving on. You're closing the door on this. This is a cycle that's closing out. And as you move forward, you get your victory. Okay, so I feel like um, I feel like you're going to start becoming very abundant. All right. Um, some of you could have recently purchased a new car. That could be a confirmation for someone. Uh, you could be a Cancer. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is as you as the new cycle begins, because that's what's happening here. A uh, cycle is closing out with this person from your past, and a new cycle for you is starting. Okay, you get to start that new cycle having a victory and moving forward and being free. Okay, and this person is starting a new cycle, getting their karma and learning a lesson. Okay, they, and they turn their back on you. This could have been up to three months or three years ago. You've been silent ever since then. Okay, I feel like, um, I feel like you've been picking up intuitively on what's been going on in their life and how they feel, and you're pretty much spot on about it, because this person does feel, they feel bad, not so much for how they treated you, but for the fact that you don't see them the same way that you used to, Okay. And that's the one thing that they can't get back. They are not going to be able to get your respect back after what they've done. And they're, and they're not going to be able to get your trust back either, I feel. This person could have acted like they are better than you. Yeah, they acted like they were better than you. Put you down a lot, maybe. You know, I feel like um, this person, it uh, for you... In your situation, it started reaching the point where you could have started feeling like more of a servant to them than a partner, okay? Because this person didn't show you respect. They didn't respect you. They thought they were better than you. They could have um, made fun at you of you or picked at you because you didn't make as much money as them. You know, they could have called your ideas crazy, like, I feel like this person didn't really truly believe in you until you left their life for good. You know, now they're looking back on the love that they lost, that you gave them. Okay, they're looking back on all the times that you did things for them, sweet, sweet things. And they are kicking themselves here. They're feeling like a fool. They're learning a harsh lesson. They treated you like you weren't as good as them, or they... You know, this person didn't respect you. You know, and, and because of that, you lost respect for them. Okay? I feel like this person knows they're getting their karma, too, because of how they treated you. Yeah. Yeah, and then they chose other people over you. So they betrayed your trust. Okay? They didn't treat you with respect. Um, they could have been chasing after other feminine energies. I'm seeing other women in this photo. So they could have chased after other women. Okay, they could have been a, a, like chasing after karmic individuals, um, party goers, you know, party animals, that kind of thing. Right? And I feel like they, they thought that they could betray you this way. Um, and get away with it at this person that they didn't get away with anything. Now they are only thinking about you and what they did. Okay, so this person, they, put, they could have put you in a third party. They could have cheated on you or chose others over you. And meanwhile, you were, um, you were really taking care of this person. Like you cared for them. You cared for them. If you, um, if you were financially stable, I feel like this person could have taken advantage of that as well, you know, but I'm, I'm getting that they really, um, they talk to you like you weren't as good as them, okay? And now they're complaining. See, they didn't give you respect, 
but now they're upset because you're not giving them respect, okay? Like you've lost respect for this person. And they're, they're kind of looking back on all of this and kicking themselves for it, okay? Yeah, this person could have put you in a third party, broke your heart, thought that you weren't as good as them or didn't have enough. Maybe they made fun of you, left you behind because you didn't have enough money or a fancy enough job, and look at you now. Boom, you flipped into the empress in the minor arcana on this person. All of your hard work that you've put in, it's paying off here, okay? Um, you're growing a garden. You're very abundant. You're independent. You're happy on your own. Um, you don't have somebody constantly putting you down or treating you with disrespect or, you know, um, sneaking around with other people. You, you're, you're free to focus on all the right stuff that's going to better you in the future and that's what you're doing okay and now this person is seeing all that they lost here the one that they treated with disrespect before and underestimated before is now the one that's um very abundant and stable okay they're looking at all of this and they're regretting how they treated you the one thing they can't come back from is the fact that you've lost respect for them because of all of this. Okay? So I feel like this person has lost you. Yep, I feel like they breadcrumbed you. Yep, because they, they, look, they treated you like you were nothing. And you did all of this for them. You were very sweet, kind, and nurturing and giving to this person. Like, you truly... You were looking at them like they were the cat's meow, like they were the best, the best human being out there, okay? You really, uh, you could have put this person on their own pedestal, okay? And then they went and, they went and betrayed you like this. And I feel like the whole time they were looking down on you like, um, like they were better than you and like they could find better than you. You know, they and here's the thing. I feel like they were out chasing other people, but there ain't no one better than you. You're in the Empress in the Minor Arcana energy. You've got everything here that you need and then some. The only thing you don't have is a soulmate at your side that's going to take you to a commitment. Okay? So you're single out here as the true treasure in the deck. This person knows that too. Earth angel energy here. You're balanced in your emotions. I feel like you're over this person. So you're ready to give that cup of love to someone new who's going to respect you. Okay, someone you can respect, someone you can trust. You're ready possibly to start dating. Okay, I feel like when you meet the right person who's going to give you um, the same amount of trust and respect, okay? Um, when you meet the right person, you're going to extend that cup of love to somebody new. You're no longer um, focused on this person from your past. You've disconnected here, okay? And um, as you move forward with your life now, just know they're going to be learning a harsh lesson. Yep. They misjudged you. They thought they were better than you. They thought they could replace you with these other floozies here in this picture. There ain't no replacing an empress, and that's what you are. And you're in your, your emperor energy, too. So you're coming out really strong and an earth angel. So they're never going to find another you. But I feel like you have new love coming in. Spirit can see that you're over this person from your past and you're ready to date. And just as I say that, here come all these love options. <laughs> okay, so I feel like you're about to start dating, meeting new people. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, you're going to have multiple love options, all right? Because who wouldn't want a treasure? Yeah, and, and here comes an offer. Here comes another offer. Oh, look at that. Here they all start coming in now. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have a... Um, you're going to have some people coming towards you here, approaching you, wanting to get to know you, wanting to date you. Okay, someone may even love bomb you here out of these new options. Another one wants to take things nice and slow. All right, your person over here, they're very burdened by that because now they don't want to let you go. Okay, they're stuck in their head about you now and you're moving on to calmer waters putting this past person in the past where they belong, okay? Opening up to new people, new love connections. Yep, so you're about to start dating again, Collective. Congratulations. And, and it's all going it, to, it's almost like these people are coming in pretty fast, okay? Yep, because who wouldn't want the true treasure in the deck? You've got new love coming in and abundance, a lot of abundance. So abundance, success, growth, transformation, um, new soulmate connections, new people to date. And your person is over here stuck, right? Spirits got them in like a spiritual jail, getting their karma for what they've done, all right, for how they treated you. They have to learn. They weren't better than you. They're no better than anybody Okay, they, you don't judge other people. They judge, they misjudged an earth angel. So they're going to get some heavy karma for that. And this um, being stuck in stagnancy, right, with a fork in the road, okay, this is all coming to an end with a 10 and a 4. <coughs> so, yeah. And I feel like you're being led in a completely different direction, okay, to start a new life and be open for new things. Now, spirit has put you on a pedestal. See, you once put this person on a pedestal, and they didn't deserve to be on that pedestal. Spirit is knocking them off of that pedestal and putting you on it, okay? <laughs> That's how I'm seeing that. So, yeah, the rightful person is on the pedestal. And that would be you. Okay? And this person is stuck in a spiritual prison while they learn a harsh lesson and getting their karma, okay, for how they broke your heart. Yes. Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. Um, let me call out some signs before I go, okay? You could be you could be a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on cancer, heavy. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on Virgo. You could be a Sagittarius, okay? Yeah. Maybe Gemini. Anyway, that's what I have for this one. I do hope this helps and resonates. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Yay, join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.